G. And I'm excited about working at the Co. It's the creme de la creme for celebrity stylists. And I've been working as a stylist now for five years. And that's working as a celebrity stylist. But I've actually been working as a stylist and designing clothes overall for about 10 years now. I started out styling and designing clothes for my friends in private school. And I would create clothes for them. And I got so many requests for outfits that my friends actually started to pay me to create clothes for them. And then one day, my father came to me and he told me that he got a job promotion and our family was moving to Wisconsin. Well, this was the last thing I wanted for myself because I really wanted to stay in LA with my friends and school. So I begged and begged and then finally he said yes and he told me I would have to live with my Aunt Casey. And I was so happy. Everything was going fine and I really enjoyed living with my aunt. And then she came to me and asked me why I always had so much money. And I was like, oh, well, I'm selling the clothes that I make to my girlfriends at school. And she was very supportive and she was happy because I could actually take care of my own expenses and I even bought myself an old beat up car. I mean, it was an old beat up jalopy, but hey, at least it was my own car. So everything was going fine. And then one day I was in my room and I was in there, you know, just dancing around, and I was listening to music and everything, and I, ha I was wearing a pink boa that I made. And I had a magazine that had a picture of a really cute man on the cover. So I was dancing around in my room and, and listening to music and all that, and then I leaned in and I kissed the man on the cover of the magazine. And my aunt was standing in the room with me and she saw me. And I had no idea that she was standing there. So when she saw me, she just flipped her lid, honey. She was just so mad at me. She asked me, you know, why are you wearing gay clothes and dancing around like some gay old, you know, gay person? So, of course, you know, she used the, the F word. She didn't say gay person. And I was like, oh, well, I was just dancing. You know, I was caught off guard. I didn't really know what to say. But girl, let me tell you, she kicked me out of the house. And it was hard for me. It was one of the hardest times in my life. It was devastating. For her to just kick me out like that, and she's my aunt, I was devastated. I didn't know what to think. 
so I had to live in my car for two years. I was making clothes out of the back of my car because this bitch kicked me out of the house for being myself. But I did manage to graduate from school. I had good grades. And, you know, I always had my friends with me. I was still making money. My mother and father, they never found out that I was living out of my car for two years until years later because my aunt never told them that she kicked me out. And she never said anything, and I never said anything, because I damn sure wasn't going to know Wisconsin. So after my graduation, I was in a local cafe in L.A. And, you know, there was this, this girl standing behind me. And finally, girl... When the, you know, that day in L.A. in the cafe, my ship finally came in for me, girl. The woman standing behind me was standing there, and she was like, I was getting myself a drink and everything. And she said, oh, I love that dress that you're wearing. Where did you get it? And I said, oh, I make clothes. I made this for myself. Girl, the woman that was standing behind me was Amby Moon. Girl, I could not believe it, honey. And she was like, well, I really love your clothes. I want to know if you could work for me and make some clothes for me. So I did. And the next thing I know, honey, I'm working with her. I'm only 18 years old. She had me traveling with her all over the world. I'm traveling with one of the biggest pop stars in the world, honey. I was everywhere. I was working backstage. I was working at photo shoots, video shoots. I was everywhere. I was making so much money. I was on the road. I was literally her personal stylist. I still am to this very day even though I have a lot of other projects I'm working on. My whole life changed, honey, and it's never been the same since. So I'm very grateful for her. Because of her, I had enough money to buy myself a car, a, a nice car, and a nice home here in L.A., you know, so I'm just really grateful for her. She took me under her wing and really showed me how to be a real celebrity stylist and what the business was about. But despite all of my success, I still want a spot at the Cove. Because regardless of all that, there's no greater prestige than to work at the Cove. So, you know, I'm looking for that winning spot to see if I can... When get in there and start working as a, you know, a stylist to a lot of different celebrities. So this is something I'm really excited about.